Hey everybody, this is Dr. Brock here in sunny Dallas. It's a beautiful day. It's a great time to talk about head injuries, in particular mild traumatic brain injuries. And let's talk about one symptom, and one symptom that people commonly have when they come into our facility, and that's fatigue. They have neurological fatigue, physical fatigue, of course mental fatigue that goes along with the brain stuff. The one thing that I would say is don't overlook some of the other possibilities. We know that with head injury, when your brain doesn't work efficiently, then you may be fatigued. But some other things that can perpetuate that are thyroid problems that might be underlying or might be sort of exacerbated by the head injury. So check for hypothyroidism because that's always possible. Check for anemia because they don't have oxygen to recover. Blood sugar issues can be really a big problem either with diabetic conditions or even hypoglycemia because as the brain's trying to recover, it's utilizing more blood sugar so they may have drops in their blood sugar that makes them have the inability to focus or concentrate. And the other thing I would say is inflammation that can be caused from a number of things like gut problems or underlying infectious diseases. So really the word of the day is fatigue after head injury. And don't be fooled and think that it's just from the injury itself, but always look for those underlying comorbidities or factors that might relate or tie into it. When you fix those things, you have a greater chance of alleviating that symptom. So that's the tip for the day.